Pocket Wizards are absolutely awesome. Here's why. If you're in the market for a wireless or even a wired trigger for your camera or for a strobe, there are many options. There's cheap and there's expensive, there's unreliable and there's reliable. There are dozens of brands out there all offering different specs and different technologies. When I first got started in photography, I purchased triggers from all kinds of different brands, but the number one brand that I purchased from the most was probably Velo. These are okay, they're not great, but as time went on they became less and less reliable. If you're shooting just for fun or as a hobby, these type of triggers will probably work for you. If you miss a few shots, it's not that big of a deal if you're not getting paid. The biggest reason for purchasing one of these type of triggers over a brand like Pocket Wizard is the price. These will run you probably $40 to $80 depending on what you get. As I'm sure you're aware, photography is an expensive business, so I figured I'd save a few hundred dollars instead of buying Pocket Wizards, I'd buy an off-brand. And like I said, they were okay, but I started having some issues, so that's whenever I decided to throw down a few more dollars for the name brand Pocket Wizard, and I'm glad I did. If you're doing paid gigs and reliability is an issue for you, or if you just have a larger budget and you just don't want to have to worry about your triggers failing, Pocket Wizard's the only way to go. I've been using them for a few years now, and I've really only had one issue. That was one time, the last winter, my trigger cable failed. It didn't have any fraying, bending, anything like that. There was no obvious signs of use on it. So I just went into my local camera store, Roberts, where I purchased it, showed them the issue, and they troubleshooted it as well. But they came to the same conclusion. There's really nothing I did. There was just a failure in the cable somewhere. The pocket wizards themselves were fine, but the cable just failed. So they replaced it on the spot, and ever since, it's been working perfectly fine. Other than reliability, the other reason I love pocket wizards is for their versatility. They can be used to fire cameras, like I just showed, or what I probably use them for the most is to fire strobes. Now most strobes, including the Alien Bees that I use, have optical sensors, and optical sensors are great, but depending on your lighting setup, the ambient light that you're dealing with, and many other factors, including just plain luck, sometimes they don't always work. In fact, my old setup was just a pocket wizard on top of my camera, and then a pocket wizard into one of my strobes. And then, whenever I would fire, the strobe would go off and it would fire my other strobes as well. But unfortunately, I was on a shoot one time, and this is the setup I was using, but for some reason I could not get my other strobes to fire using their optical sensors off of this strobe, and it was a big, big ordeal. I've used this exact same setup many, many times and I never had an issue, but luckily I could just change the setup just a little bit with the lighting, and I finally got it to work, but it scared me enough to stop on the way home and pick up some more pocket wizards, so I would never have this issue again. When using pocket wizards for triggers for your camera, there are many options. One is you can just use it as just a regular wired trigger, just like this, where you use a test button on the pocket wizard itself, and it'll fire the camera just like so. But I don't really use that very often, unless maybe you're on a tripod uh, using like super, super, super slow shutter speeds if you're shooting like fireworks or something like that. But if not, you can just attach pocket wizard right on top just like so then you can use it as wireless so you're not hitting any buttons on your camera or on this pocket wizard itself you use a separate one on the same wavelength and it'll fire away that one I use all the time you say you're shooting basketball or football or really any other sport you can have this body super far away on the other end of the field or the other end of the court and you can fire it from pretty much anywhere I'm not a huge fan of spraying and praying but sometimes it's nice to just strap a nice wide angle lens onto a body throw a pocket wizard up on top, a monopod on the bottom, hold it up over either a crowd or the team huddling or something like that and fire away and you can get some really cool and unique stuff. I don't use this method quite as much, although it does work great for a sport like basketball. Basically you'll strap a, probably a wide angle lens onto this body with a pocket wizard right on top and then you'll leave it at your feet uh, or down like right in front of you when you're shooting basketball you're normally sitting down. You'll have it right in front of you. Now if a fast break is coming at you and the player's going to dunk or lay it up or something, you don't have time to pick up your camera and try to... Uh, and try to frame it correctly and try to get everything in focus how you want to get it and that just takes too much time whenever these players are coming down at you so what you do is you have the camera down at your legs down at your feet right in front angled up and you have it framed and positioned everything correctly with all the settings exactly how you want it and then you put a pocket wizard on top of that body then on top of another body that you're using uh, to shoot the game regularly and probably a 7200 or maybe a 300 or something like that. You put a pocket wizard on top of the body that you're using and then as you're shooting and a player is coming at you, you can shoot with this body, 
pocket wizard connect to this pocket wizard in this body will fire as well. That works absolutely awesome for fast breaks. It works great in soccer, pretty much any sport. But the only issue is, is sometimes you want to turn it on and off. If the play's down at the other end of the court and you're using a uh, longer lens to get that, you don't want to waste all your shots on one body shooting stuff that is never going to get used because it's just going to be so minuscule and so tiny and maybe not even in the frame if you're using super wide angle lens. There are several pocket wizards on the market, but the model that I choose to use is the Plus 3s. Whenever you get it straight out of the box, you obviously get the pocket wizard and the body itself. And I think it also maybe comes with batteries. I don't know that for sure, but I think it does. Um, and then it comes with uh, several cords. This cord uh, plugs right into the pocket wizard and then into your strobe, like so. Then you can use it to fire strobes. It also comes with a few cords that you can use that I, like I just showed you before to fire off your camera bodies themselves. It comes with a few cords, but they don't work with all bodies. The Pocket Wizard does sell, uh, they do have some upsells with some other uh, cords as well that can you work with pretty much any body out there on the market. I've used a couple of those cords before and they're kind of expensive. They're about 30 or 35 bucks, but it's worth it because again of the reliability. It makes it all worth it. Comment below and tell me how you use your pocket wizard, whether it be on a strobe or on a camera body itself, and how you use them to get some awesome shots that without the, this uh, device you wouldn't have been able to get. As always, be sure to subscribe and thanks for watching.